Hi everybody, it's Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda. I'm back again for the part two, making collage cards and handmade envelopes. So part two, we're going to be decorating these pretty collaged cards that we made in the part one yesterday. And I'm going to pick four cards to go with a set of four of these focal points. So we're going to use these cards for the focal points. I have some handmade labels that I made this morning from coffee dyed paper and stamps. I also have a variety of random labels that I created last week and I um, have them listed in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested in them. So yeah, let's get started. Um, what you need is cheese cheesecloth. I buy it in a big roll like this. Most stores have it. Walmart. I think I got this one at um, the Canadian Superstore, though. Um, and I'm going to be using my Beacon 301 glue. This is the one that I get from the Dollar Tree. I love it. And I'm using Walnut Stain Distress Ink. So let's pick four cards that will go with these cute focal points. Let's try this one first, see what looks good on it. <laughs> Excuse my sniffing, my allergies are really bad today. Um, we went down to Fisherman's Wharf and got fish and chips and um, I forgot to take my allergy pills this morning, so I only just got back from my outing and only just now took my allergy pills. So um, if I sniffle, which I will be doing a lot of, um, I do apologize in advance. I did get this cute little handmade bracelet on the wharf. They have the cutest little store that sells handmade things. There's a little wolf on it and ceramic beads. So yeah. I had a good day today. So I think I think that one looks cute on there. And I'm just pulling these out randomly. That's what I do. I'm so random with my choices. I don't put too much thought into my crafting. I just let it flow and have fun. So let's see how this one looks. I love the little angels and the fairies. I like that. That's cute. Let's see if there's another one that might look better. Hmm. That's cute too. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. <laughs> okay. So, what I do is start with this one. Take a piece of cheesecloth. It's really simple. <laughs> Put it down. Not to be too perfect, and then cut around it. So, I hope everyone's having a good day today. I always enjoy Sundays, <laughs> try to make it nice and relaxing. Saturdays are our errand day. Sundays are more relaxing. So what we will do is we will 
glue this down. A little bit of the Beacon 3 and 1 in the middle. And then kind of try to capture the outskirts of the cloth. It's a little awkward working with cheesecloth. It kind of goes all over the place. But that's why we like it. It adds nice texture. Okay. add oh sorry I want to ink this up first sometimes I forget the inking <laughs> the inking's great because it really showcases the focal point makes it stand out best So we've been having an overcast day today, but within the last hour, the sun has come out, which has helped the video have better lighting. So we like to kind of make it off center, just give it more interest. And let's see, I think I'll try using some of these labels that I made this morning. It's a bit big. I made some big and some small. Let's see. I like that there. Maybe a blue label for the bottom. Let's see. Sorry I'm going out of screen here, but I think I like that. And I need to ink these up as well. Sorry for my reaching. down with the beacon three and one. And again, I'll link below the um, collage papers in the comments. All right. And then what I do is I use a little bit of lace for the tab. Not really. 
I centered. Move it over. I don't measure things, I just eyeball. <laughs> I can't can't be bothered to be perfect and I think perfect's boring anyway. So there you have it. And I will ink this up as well. We have the card on the back, the brown craft paper on the back for writing your little happy birthday sentiments or whatever you're going to do, right, thinking of you or whatever. So um, we'll make the other three together and then I will sew the zigzag stitch around the outside and um, that's how easy it is to make these beautiful cards. Like I said, I'm so addicted to it. I'll probably be making them for another week at least. cloth <laughs> so what have you all been making leave it in the comments below I'd love to hear what you've been up to So if you ever get a chance to come to British Columbia, Vancouver Island, um, to Victoria, make sure you go to Fisherman's Wharf. It's where all the cute houseboats are and they've got some restaurants and ice cream and candy shop. and. <laughs> some handmade items from Canada um, this bracelet was actually made in Nova Scotia I think it said course I had to stop off at Dollar Tree and get some more fun crafting items <laughs> always have to go to Dollar Tree I love Dollar Tree
before crafting I never liked Dollar Tree <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody is backing up. Making noise. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's see. What labels do we want to use for this one? These are the brown labels I made the other day. What are you doing, Felix? What you doing? He says, no, Mom, what you doing? <laughs> That's still too big. Can you get down? There's a good boy. Back to the blue leaves. Yeah, you have to audition the pieces to find the right one for the right card. So it's good if you have a wide variety of labels. So we did um, go out to lunch today at the wharf with my husband's aunt. She's a sweetie, Aunt, aunt Diane. And I brought her two of these cards and she loved them. She said she's going to display them in her bedroom. So sweet. Now we will put a little tab on it. I don't like to make it too big. I don't want it sticking out too much because then it then it gets in the way of the envelope. There, look how pretty. All right, <laughs> on to the next. So my mother's English, my mother's from England. She came to Washington DC I think she was 20 and the plan was that she was going to stay in DC and work as a secretary for a year I think and then she'd have enough money to go back and she came over on the QE too but for the year that she was in Washington DC she met my father and they ended up, I think a year later, marrying in England, but because my dad had such a good job here, or not here, 
uh, in DC, they ended up uh, residing in Maryland. And I was born in Washington, DC. So I was brought up on fish and chips. <laughs> My family lived in Bournemouth at the seaside. Well, my uncle still does. And, um, visited there every year, practically. Stayed there for like three to four weeks at a time every year. And love the fish and chips there. But the fish and chips at the wharf here is pretty good. So Barb's Fish and Chips definitely recommend. <laughs> you can either get the cod or the white fish and Aunt Diane got the, or not white fish, um, halibut. Aunt Diane got the halibut and I got the cod because that's the typical Bournemouth fish that they use. That's so yummy. <laughs> and it was really good. Sweet image. Oh, I don't know, um, I don't know where I got these images from, um, so I can't, sorry, I can't tell you, but, uh, got them somewhere online. They're cute. They might have come with a kit, I don't know. Okay, now for the hard part, finding the right labels, like that. Doesn't look good. Let's see what else we have. Need something bigger, but not too big, I think. Yeah, I like that one. Sometimes I do have a hard time deciding. What I like. I know I like these labels. I just don't know where I want to put them.
Yeah. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Because I could waffle back and forth. Take an hour just deciding where the silly label should go. <laughs> In the end, nobody really cares because it ends up looking good no matter where you put it. So you just got to go for it. I really like the way these labels turned out. Okay. Get a little bit of lace. It's hard to tell what, what's the right side. I think that's it. I just put a little bit of glue just to anchor it down because when I sew it'll sew over top of it and secure it. It looks straight to me. There we go. Okay, so there's that one turned out cute and now the fourth one for the set of four then we get to do the fun part of sewing I love sewing on paper We need ink. You didn't remind me. <laughs> some people like to do an assembly line, but for some reason that doesn't work for me. I need to assemble one at a time or for some reason, it's not fun for me. But with that, sometimes you can forget steps. <laughs> She's cute. With her little doll. Precious. So you want to make this kind of wonky. You don't want it too perfect. <laughs> because then it's visually boring. There we go. Ended up with not much of it, but that's okay. It can be a little fiddly. All these little strings. All right. 
Now for the fun part, the labels. <laughs> I really like these blue labels. Like that. That was easy. What you talking about, Felix? <laughs> He's telling me, get on the bed and cuddle with me. That's his favorite place. <laughs> Felix, you gotta get down, buddy. You don't want the glue, it's nasty. Not good for cats. Get down. There you go. He thinks he wants to help. All right. So thank you for reminding me. I have to ink up the card. What would I do without you? my friend. Okay. <clears throat> That's it for the inking. Now we need a tab. Then we're going to attempt to sew. I've not sewn online, so I don't know how it's going to work out. And when I sit down, I won't be able to see my camera. So I hope I can do it in frame. All right. So make some room here so we can sew the zigzag. Alright, let's see. This is where I need my sewing machine. Alright. Here we go, guys. I hope this works. I hope you can see. I'm not sure how the angle is going to be. see that. It's not going to be great and it's going to be noisy so I do apologize. So I'm going to do the zigzag zigzag stitch. I'm going to put it at three and three quarters. And I'm just going to sew it all the way around.
two of four done. So it's up pretty quick. if I bump the camera and you saw my head. All right. So here we have it. A set of four pretty collage cards. I think they match nicely together. And tomorrow we'll be making the handmade envelopes. For the cards so yeah I hope you enjoy this short craft with me I hope you do try to make these if you do let me know in the comments um, need to figure out a way to possibly see pictures of them that would be great and um, I'll see you again tomorrow with the number three card making video Thank you. Have a great rest of your Sunday and bye-bye.